Dolphins Today is presented by Aura, a all-in-one digital safety tool. If you go to Aura.com slash chat sports, that's where you can begin your free 14-day trial. With that, we get into today's show. I am Will Scott. We're going to be talking about some trade ideas that I have. We've done some trade mailbags recently. This show is about some trade ideas that I have that perhaps the Dolphins can pursue before the start of the 2022 season. But first, I want to give some shout-outs to our new subscribers. Welcome to the party here on Dolphins today. We got Roberto Alvarez, Geronimo Santoyo, the Brinque, Greg Farley, and Warren Gahapia as well. Appreciate you all joining us here on Dolphins today. And go down and subscribe to the channel. We're one of the fastest-growing Miami Dolphins YouTube channels. We would appreciate you subscribing. So we're going to be talking about some trades there is a big trade that went down in the NFL today. Ian Rappaport reported this a few hours ago. The Panthers are acquiring former number one overall pick Baker Mayfield from the Browns for a 2024 conditional fifth round pick. Deal is pending a physical all parties split the financials to make this happen. So Baker is on the move. He's going to Cal or Carolina. And if you remember a few months ago, Robbie Anderson posted something on Instagram about Baker potentially getting traded to Carolina and said, no, I don't want that to happen. So maybe the Dolphins could pull off this type of trade and free Robbie Anderson. In this trade, they would be getting a pretty solid wide receiver in Anderson. They would be shipping Lynn Bowden Jr. to Carolina with a fifth-round pick. Here is that post I was talking about earlier so you got to know Robbie is not happy about this potential not even a potential trade anymore he wasn't happy about a potential trade now is official he went to South Plantation High School you know a little bit north of Miami so hey maybe you bring this guy home here is my idea so Lynn Bowden Jr. we all love him but you would definitely be upgrading a little bit getting Anderson here is what he did last season, 53 receptions, 519 yards, five touchdowns. You know, he's uh, definitely, uh, you know, comes with some baggage considering all the stuff he says, but uh, he's a heck of a talent. Now, would you trade for Robbie Anderson? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Go down and let me know. Uh, it'd certainly be interesting. I would not be surprised to see Carolina move him Move him here in the next few weeks, but if you're the Dolphins, is it worth trading for a wide receiver at this point when you have a lot of depth at that position? I think it is worth trading for a center. If y'all are just joining us here on Dolphins Day, those new subs we just shouted out, uh, I really think the Dolphins should get a new center. One of the guys that might be available is Matt Hennessy from the Falcons. So this is my trade idea. Matt Hennessy goes to Miami along with a 2023 fourth-round pick. Atlanta gets a 2023 third-round pick in Eric Rowe, who I believe is going to get traded before the season. And when you're talking about Rowe, and you're talking about Gaskin and other guys on the trade block for the Dolphins, I would rather trade those guys for an offensive lineman than I would, let's say, a fifth or sixth-round pick. And Matt Hennessy is someone who... Might get traded. I don't know how likely that is, but he did split playing time with rookie center Drew Dalman last season. He's very, very solid. Was the seventh-ranked center by PFF last season, and we've spent all this time talking about J.C. Treader. He was the sixth-ranked center, so he's kind of on Treader's level. 89.1 run block grade. That was second among centers. This would fit really well in terms of bringing him in to what Mike McDaniel is looking to do. Mike McDaniel, new head coach, is going to want to pride the Dolphins offense on the run game. You have an opportunity to maybe trade for Hennessy. I don't know if it's likely, but Hennessy. Oh, I screwed that up, doggone it. I practiced that so many times. Hennessy, uh, what, is, what is it? What is it? Uh, Hennessy is, okay, we're moving on. I can't talk today. You know what? Aura, Aura is going to help me out here, and Aura is going to help you out too. You should do you do more online than ever, right? Aura does more to keep you safe. Start your free trial at aura.com slash chat sports. They're going to get you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries. Keep your identity secure with extensive monitoring of your personal info. Shop, bank, and work online more safely and privately. It's so important to keep you and your family safe from online hackers. That's the link right there. That link is going to be in the comments, in the description. 
14-day free trial at Aura.com slash chatsports. Go to that link and start your 14-day free trial today. Let's get into my third trade idea. Dolphins receive Josh Jacobs and Cleveland Farrell. The Raiders would be getting Miles Gaskin and Eric Rowe. Now, we did a video a few weeks ago about a trade ideas mailbag. A lot of y'all were interested in acquiring these two players from the Las Vegas Raiders. This would be a two-for-two two swap. You see this graphic. All four of these players right now are on the trade block, have been in NFL trade rumors. Now, who says no to this trade? Is it Miami or is it Las Vegas? Type MIA for the Dolphins or type LV for Las Vegas down in the comments section. I think it's going to be very interesting uh, to see if Jacobs and Farrell get moved. I think it's very possible. But if you were to make this trade, if you're Miami, the running back room would be even more crowded. We're talking about trading Miles Gaskin, someone who was your first running back last season, who is now the fourth running back. So if you were to trade for someone like Jacobs, my goodness, is Raheem Mostert going to be the fourth option? I don't know if I want that crowded of a running back room. But then you look at Cleveland Farrell, I would be more interested in acquiring him. And he needs a reset, right? He was under all this pressure when he got picked in the top five a few years back in Las Vegas. He had no business being a top five pick. He was kind of, I wouldn't say set up for disaster, but he's had a lot of pressure on him. He hasn't lived up to what a top five pick should be. So I think a reset in Miami would make a lot of sense. Fairly spends a lot of time in Miami who wouldn't want to play there as well. Let's get into my fourth trade idea. This is, I think, very, very possible. In fact, of all the six ideas we're talking about here, this one might be the most likely to happen. Giants receive Miles Gaskin. Dolphins receive Matt Parrott. In the words of Drake, this sounds like a fair trade to me. You would be getting, for the Dolphins, an offensive tackle, something that you desperately need. The Giants need running back depth you would be sending them Gaskin, who would be a pretty solid second option behind Barkley. When you're talking about Pear, he has some experience at the right tackle position, 175 snaps there last season, a 63.0 PFF grade. And you might be saying, well, that's not great. Well, Jackson and Eichenberg had like a 50 PFF grade. Pear is better. He would be the better option out of those three guys. And he's a trade candidate after the Giants drafted offensive tackle Evan Neal in the first round of this past NFL draft. Paired on the trade block, could get moved. I think the Dolphins should pursue Matt Paired. And I think if you're Chris Greer, you pick up the phone and make this trade. This is a win-win trade. The Dolphins need depth on the offensive line. The Giants need depth at running back. Make the move. Chris Greer. Now, name an offensive lineman that you want to trade for. Go down in the comments section and let me know. I know a lot of y'all are going to say Mekhi Becton, but are the Jets going to be willing to trade him within the division? That's the question that I would have. My fifth trade idea involves another offensive lineman. Can you tell that I think the, <laughs> the Dolphins need to trade for linemen? Dolphins receive Graham Glasgow from the Broncos. They also get a sixth-round pick. The Broncos receive Michael Dieter, and they receive Adam Shaheen. The Broncos right now have some question marks at the center position. They also lack tight end depth. Talking about Glasgow, who I, uh, I kind of like, but he suffered a broken leg that ended his 2021 season. However, he will be fully healthy for this season. He's named by NFLTradeRumors.com as a trade candidate because he is battling for Quinn Miners for his job. So when you look at what he did last season, his PFF grade was mediocre. Uh, his run blocking grade was pretty good. Pass block, not so much. That brought his PFF grade down to a 61.65.1. Uh, and then when you look at his career snaps, that was a career low. Just 384 snaps last season. He was a full-time starter the first couple seasons in his career. That was not the case in Denver last season. Whether it's Glasgow or somebody else, just trade for an offensive lineman. I mean, seriously, we've talked about it uh, ever since bringing in Connor Williams, that the offensive line's gotten better, but it's still not good enough. The Dolphins should make, should make a move for an offensive lineman. And yeah, you have some trade options potentially, but there are sti still plenty of really solid free agent linemen still out there for the taking. 
You know who else might be out there for the taking? Deion Jones. He has been in trade rumors. The Dolphins could use potentially more linebacker depth. Here is what a trade with Atlanta would look like. Falcons desperately need wide receivers. They would be getting a pretty solid one in Preston Williams, as well as a fourth-round pick. The Dolphins would get linebacker Deion Jones. Now, do you want to trade for Deion Jones? Let's say the opportunity presented itself to make a deal here with the Falcons. Would you do it? Type T for trade or type E for pass down in the comments section. It's the pinned comment on today's video. When ad break comes, go down, let me know. You might be able to get this guy for a steal in Jones because the Falcons are a poverty organization. They don't know what they're doing in Atlanta. You could trade Preston Williams and maybe some uh, beach tacos in Miami to get Deion Jones, a pretty solid player. I think the Dolphins should look into this if they can get him for cheap. I'm not, I don't know how much I'm willing to give up for Jones. Now, which trade idea was your favorite? Go down in the comments section and let me know.